Hello there. Mm. I don't know about you, but I will not do absolutely anything until I've had a coffee in the morning and then for lunch and then for most of the day. I basically just don't do anything, but then use coffee as the excuse for not doing those things. Anyway, in this video, we're going to learn how to set up CloudBot on your Twitch stream, on your YouTube stream. To be honest, setting up CloudBot on your stream is pretty easy to do. It's pretty quick, but I need to do this video so that I can do two different videos that I want to do. The first of those two videos is the essential commands that you need to have on your channel to make your channel work if you don't have these commands literally your twitch channel just implodes and you can no longer stream on twitch um, and that's a fact the second of those two videos is more of the like desirable commands that you should have on your channel but might just make your viewers feel all nice and tingly so this is just the first video to show you how to set up cloudbot from streamlabs check the link in the description for those two videos because if you're setting up cloudbot now that means that you're more than likely just starting out or maybe you're just reviewing your commands your custom commands and things like that so you'll probably get some inspiration from those two videos. If you do find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. I've helped loads of streamers to level up their stream. You're also welcome to come and hang out on my stream at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's do this. Okay, so I've got my Twitch on the your left, but my right. And then I've got Streamlabs online on my left, your right. First, let's talk a little bit about what CloudBot actually is. Well, CloudBot is a free tool from Streamlabs online. It's sort of like their entry level free tool to enable you to get custom commands and a load of other interactive stuff. I've done loads of videos about Streamlabs online and CloudBot, but I realized I didn't actually do a video about how to set it up in general terms. So what you need to do first is visit streamlabs.com and you'll need to log in to streamlabs online using your twitch credentials if you're streaming on twitch using your youtube credentials if you're streaming on youtube we won't talk about facebook does anyone even stream on Facebook? I've yet to see of a single successful streamer on Facebook. I might be wrong though. Maybe I'm just very, very ignorant. So, you know, I'm open-minded. Once you're in here, you need to do a search in the search bar for CloudBot, or you can just simply find it on the left-hand side, CloudBot. You'll need to toggle this on within Streamlabs Online. We'll go through some of these things in a second. First, there's a few more bits that you need to do. You will need to go into your chat and type forward slash mod Streamlabs. Just like that. That will then mod CloudBot and allow it to make calls and API things. And yeah, it'll just it'll basically just give the authority to CloudBot and Streamlabs Online to do certain things. And because you've also linked your Twitch or your YouTube gaming account by logging into Streamlabs Online and clicked authorize on that, that means that you basically have CloudBot and Streamlabs Online fully set up on your Twitch or YouTube gaming channel. Now let's go through some of the key elements of CloudBot and how you might choose to use this on your channel now that you've set it up. First of all, there's quite a lot of mod tools here, link protection, word protection, stuff like like that. To be honest, Twitch has already got pretty good moderation stuff on their chat that you can use within the Twitch settings. So personally, I've not chosen to use a lot of these, but it does just give you a high level of like dynamic changes that you can make regards to moderation. You can customize the bot name and link the bot name. I've done separate videos on how to customize and call your bot's name and check the links in the description for that. Now we get into the modules and these are sort of the interactive things that come with CloudBot Online and each one of these you can toggle on and then set the preferences for. Timers are things that will intermittently push chat messages into your Twitch or YouTube gaming chat. And these are things that you've customized with like different text and things like that. It could be stuff about your channel, social media, and these will perpetually push that information at the intervals that you define. You've got like a quoting system that you're able to add here to pull random quotes or users can choose a specific quote to pull. You've got a queuing system if you queue your viewers to play games with you. You've got a loyalty system. I've done loads of videos about loyalty systems and it really makes a big difference on your channel. Definitely check that out. And I will link that in the card, like, like, I'll link it on a card right now. It, it, it technology is just uh, then you've got a loyalty store that you can set up with like voice redeems and audio stuff like that you can set up polls you can do betting and you can also do giveaways so there's a lot of different things you can do through this chat bot the main reason i wanted to do this video was because i'm going to do those two videos i mentioned earlier about making the most from the commands my most essential commands and then some desirable commands two separate videos obviously keeping it short because you youtube people just don't have an attention span do you the custom commands is where you can add command that means you, someone can type an exclamation point and then a word and that will return various dynamic or static or URLs, basically text into the channel. And these can be used in a load of different ways. And that can really make or break your channel. And that's where I'm going to get into a lot more detail in the other videos. 
So there you have it, how to set up CloudBot on your Twitch stream or your YouTube gaming stream. If you did find this useful, don't forget to like. Feel free to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Oh, yeah, of course, the main reason. Just check out the other two videos in the link, okay? Literally, me being a completionist, I could not do those other videos without doing this one. I didn't want to do this video. <laughs> See you later.